us a little bit about your research and the underlying genetic basis of developmental and psychiatric disorders. I felt that it would be very helpful to work in parallel on two disorders. A very early neurodevelopmental disorder, such as autism, that's usually um, diagnosed in second or third year or, of life, and then bipolar illness, um, illness that has very different characteristics and much, much later onset. It's family-based approach. So we basically uh, collect families, we perform very, very extensive phenotyping, and then we generate whole genome sequence and based uh, on analysis, extensive analysis of whole genome sequence, we're trying to see if we can somehow subdivide uh, families with autism into uh, groups that carry mutations in a particular gene. What did you find at the genetic level that differentiates those kinds of populations of autism? We see something that's at the beginning, it was very discouraging. There is no a particular gene. So many of us are familiar with Huntington's disease or cystic fibrosis or maybe anemias where we can uh, identify particular gene that's disrupted. In vast majority of cases with autism, it's not one gene that's disrupted. There are many, many mutations in different genes. Okay. So although we don't have one particular gene, still knowing this gen so-called genetic architecture, knowing that many different genes lead to autism is extremely important. Not only that, but each gene can have different kinds of mutations. We find that some of these mutations are inherited in parents, but it turns out that in many families, these are new mutations that arose during formation of sperm in the father or formation of the egg in the mother. Many of these genes are critical for so-called synaptic transmission communication between neurons. So we do have very good insight into pathways that are disrupted. A major really surprising uh, finding for me is that so many of these genes play a very important role during embryonic development. Mm. So as we know, autism is usually diagnosed in second or third year of life. On the other hand, the action of these genes is much, much earlier. And this is also very important when we think about possible environmental factors, that it's not at the time when child is diagnosed, but maybe there are some environmental factors during embryonic and fetal development. So it sounds like over the last 20 years or so, um, the autism field has significantly grown in terms of our understanding of the mm -hmm. genetics, the genes involved, and then how they're expressed. Where do you see kind of our understanding of autism and bipolar disorders 50 years from now? Wow, 50 years from now. Wow, that's a very, very tough question. In five or 10 years, a child, we will get a whole genome sequence for a child the minute this child is born. That is something that is going to be happening very soon. Second, and here I may be jumping to 50 years from now and not 10 years from now, um, we know that complex disorders are not only genetic. Environment plays a very important role. So heritability of many complex disorders is 50 to 70%. So we are basically right now uh, ignoring, we geneticists are ignoring environmental factors. And in my view, we will know much, much more about these environmental factors. Actually, I have here, I forgot to put it on my Fitbit. You can imagine that many of us are going to have many different sensors, not only how much we walk or how much we sleep, but also what's happening with our metabolism. So if you have whole genome sequence and you have all these 
phenotypes, many, many different phenotypes. By putting that together, we will be in a much better position to make predictions. And based on predictions, um, to go with interventions. We know, for instance, in autism, um, di diagnosing a disease uh, early means early intervention and uh, with different behavioral therapies, a child can really significantly improve. So my answer to your question, environmental influences and this genotype, phenotype association that will allow us to make predictions.